started. Click Design Soft, Astro. You got the color boost scripts and your hover palette there. And these two are actually projects for the edit icons for low res or high res screens. So that actually you can lay it on your screen okay. Right, how to install Hubble scripts using Picked Inside. Right, first off, go to Scripts, go to Features and Script, go to Add. I know I saved the Hubble scripts into Hubble scripts in my documents. It just checks the folder; you can't see them. That's where you need to extract them. Just found my Hubble scripts. Installed them. Didn't know this can for some reason. Cancel that. Okay with that. There they are. Press done. And you'll find Hubble Palette, Boost, Colours, Mask for Magenta, Mask for Green and Mask for Crayon and Mask for Yellow. And I'll show you how to use them on the next script. Right, picks inside. How to use Hubble scripts. First thing I'm going to try and do is merge the image together. Red equals S, green equals HJ, blue equals O. Merge those together. Got an image there. What I'm going to do is do a screen stretch, it's basically enhance the color palette. Make sure you unlink till it gets a weird effect, like so. So unlink it, and you get green, bluey colors. I now need to transfer that screen stretch to the real image. That tick box there allows it to actually view the palette what it is. And then what I do is apply the stretch that I like to the image itself, so it's more like that when it's finished. I'm going to reset the stretch so that's without stretched, and then I'm going to apply the stretched image colours to the histogram. There you go. That's that job done. Minimise that. Minimise that. What I'm going to do now. Get rid of these images out of the way so we not get confused with all the different images. What I'm going to do now is make a, a light grey image of that for detail. And that is quite smooth. But I'm going to need to run a noise reduction on that. Looks a bit smoother. Now I'm going to do an unsharpen to put any detail out of the image. It's potty a bit sharper, which is nice. Minimise that. I'm going to use this, split these channels into RGB using this button here. Minimise that. What we're going to do now is blur, get rid of the noise and blur the RGB channels. So we've got a light channel which has got the detail in it, and the RGB channels will be actually a bit more blurred. So we use noise reduction there. Noise reduction that one as well. Noise reduction on that one as well, so all, all been three have been noise reduction. Next job is going to do a blur effect and convolution. Can't see it. 
Let's have a look. And the speckle effect should disappear. It's gone smooth now, which is quite nice. And the last one. Drag the triangle to convolution onto there. And that quite blurs it quite nicely. Now what we're going to try and do now is transfer them all back into oops, wrong button. Transfer them all into back into a color channel again. Default is R. Default green. Default blue. Combine those together. Got an image is be should be a bit more smoother in colours. So I've minimised those now, get them out of the way. So we've got a light image and a blurred colour image. What I'm gonna do now is run the Hubble palette script. I want boost colours for starters. Increases colour stretch saturation by about 10%. Next, what I'm going to do is get rid of the pink, which is a magenta. It's going to mask the pink colours in the background and then remove the, the saturation so it looks more white. Do it a few times to make sure it's done. If it's still a bit pink, you can run it again. Not too bad. Now I'll use Instagram whole palette again, sorry, on the green channel. It does a green mask. It'll start calling the, call these direct little stars. It's a little bit there. It'll start leveling out the colours so the green's a bit less. The green, the blue, and the red are a bit more stronger. That's really not even sort of a green colour. There's still a bit more green in there, that should be blue. That's what it like in their script. He's cyan. It turns the greenish colour into a blue. It also enhances the colour of blue a bit more as well. Better, getting better. Next one will be Hubble Palette Yellow. Basically, the orange colour a bit uh, orange into a nice yellow. Okay, so we got the colour palettes for there. What I'll do now is use the colour curve to enhance the colours a bit more. You can mess about with the red and green and blue, is what you like. Bring it down, bring it up and see what you fancy. Okay. Apply those colours, I'm quite happy with that. Close the preview, reset the palette, minimise it out of the way. What you can try and do now, quick look around, I'll zoom in a bit. What I'm going to do now is add this light layer which has got more detail in it on top of the actual colours by using uh, an RGB combination. Use Alpha Light Frame, which is the same image. Tick off these three, so that you get a messy, messy image. Combine all the red, green, and blue again. If you don't want to do that, now you drag the triangle, so it just gets the actual light frame, and merges it to the actual overlay of the actual 
red, green and blue image. You should see some detail coming out. Well, that's better. Be darker, but not bad. <laughs> 